Hello, my name is Rick Rogers, and today I want to talk to you about Cakes Video Toolkit 7.0. And so basically, I've been looking for an easy way and a free way to edit my videos to put on YouTube. And so I ran across this little uh, piece of software here, and I'm pretty pleased. I've had it installed now for about two weeks, and I'm kind of getting familiar with it. So I just want to kind of go over what these buttons on the side do. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and grab me a video. So I've created a video for uh, YouTube a while, a couple of a couple of weeks back, and it was talking about Windows installation, uh, part, uh, Windows 7 installation. And so I can double click on this, and when I do, it's going to go ahead and put it in this screen right here. So let's go ahead and double click and see what happens. So I'm going to stop it right there. So let's say that I do not like how I started that video off. And so what I want to do is I want to trim this video down. So if I go to my cutting tools, and you see this video is 1 minute and 30, sec 30 seconds long. So let's say that I want to chop off the first 10 seconds. And then I want to, I want to come back over here. I didn't like the ending too much, and so I want to slide that down to about a minute and 10. And now when I click on cut, it's gonna ask me to save this file. And I can save it as AVI, a MPEG, a WMV, DVD, VCD, SVCD. So right now I've just got, I'm gonna just leave it default, which is AVI. And I'm just gonna call this part one. And I'm gonna just place it on my desktop. And so you see how it's trimming it down right now and, and saving it for me. This takes just a second. And so we're done. There it is, part one. Okay, so just very, very easy to trim off the ends or, you know, if you want, if you have like an issue in the middle that you want to take out, I mean, it's just an easy product to work with. Um, let's say that I created, I had a bunch of videos that I need to join and make just one video. So I want to click on join right here. And I want to leave that part one in there. But I want to add a file to it. And so what I'm going to do is I want to go out here to my folder where I have videos in. And I want to select Windows 7, Windows 7 installation part 2. And so you see how I just add these two in. And I can actually move these, move part two up in front of part one by clicking the up button. But for right now, I'm gonna just leave it like it is. And so it gives me an option again, what output form, what out, output format do I want? AVI, MPEG, WMV, DVD, VCD, SVCD. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave it the same and I'm gonna just click join. And I'm gonna just type in Windows One to seven, and I want to go back to my desktop, and I'm going to click save. And when I when I do that, you can see how it's scrolling. It's actually joining these two videos together right now. And there it is, it's to it join these two videos and put them into one file. And so that's just, that's awesome for whenever you want to stop and cut and move things around and make it to one video. So it's a really, really good tool. Also the mix button right here, let's say that you had a video that uh, you wanted to add audio files. You can actually come in here, um, take a, add a video and then add audio files and join them and mix them together and save it as the same output formats as we've seen before. Um, pretty much that's all I really know about the product right now, uh, Kate's Video Toolkit 7.0. I highly recommend that you go out and download it. Um, it's a free product, so that makes it even better. 
Uh, thank you for watching this video. My name is Rick Rogers, and please stay tuned for more videos.